The purpose of this video is to introduce you to the slit lamp and basic slit lamp photographic techniques. We will be using the clinical, also known as the tower slit lamp, which is a setup most doctors prefer. According to Professor Christy Sisson, the slit lamp is one of the most challenging aspects of ophthalmic photography, but it can also be one of the most fun. This is due to the level of control you as a photographer have over the quality, direction, and size of the light. Using the slit lamp is much more about using the photographic side of your brain. You need to interpret your subject to devise a lighting strategy as soon as you look through the viewfinder. Slit lamps are used by optometrists to recognize and diagnose various corneal and anterior segment disorders. The only difference between what they use and what we use is that we have a camera and beam splitter attached. In this sense, what the doctors see and what you see can be identical. The main difference is what you as a photographer can do to go beyond simple documentation. You need to use all of the photographic skills at your disposal to create a series of images that will not only document the pathology, but will show different aspects of it. Size, shape, texture, and location. In digital imaging, the camera is tethered to a computer and software to capture the images. We will use the TopCon software. Once you open the program, click the slit lamp button and create a patient file. To make diffuse lighting, flip up the diffuser, turn the light up slowly, and adjust the width and height of the beam to best illuminate the subject. The light should be flat and evenly distributed on the subject. At the beginning of a session, start imaging with a low magnification and diffuse light. Then, start to increase the magnification and make direct slit lighting. In imaging the cornea, the light should be thin enough to clearly delineate the different layers and thick enough to be easily imaged. To make thin slit lighting, light the subject without the diffuser. Start with a bigger light and adjust it so that the height is not taller than the area being photographed. Then, thin the light till the optical sections of the cornea are clearly seen. Rock the tower towards and away from the subject until the light is in sharp focus. Now you should be able to jump into the photographer's seat and get a head start on slit lamp imaging.